All right, it's time to flip the compost. This is uh, the compost we started two weeks ago. It's been flipped twice uh, and it reached each time. The first uh, time it came up to temp, it got over, I think just 145. And then we flipped it, obviously it went down. And then three days later, it was back up to 145. So it's not gonna hit the, the 160, but that's totally fine. Um, th this is the one that I put in uh, seaweed, pumpkins, uh, a lot of leaves, uh, some wood chips, uh, finely grated wood chips, and what else did I put in here? Some garden clippings and uh, other stuff I scrounged up. Um, I mean, we got a lot of uh, shredded paper. So what I'm going to do is flip it, but as I flip it, add a, just, just to get rid of the shredded paper, I'm just going to throw that in there. It'll eventually break down. Uh, I'm not planning on using this compost uh, super quickly which probably means I'm gonna use it super quickly because every time I say um, that uh, a plan, it, it basically goes the other way, which is totally fine, which is totally fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna flip this and um, as I go, uh, I'm gonna add some of the, um, the uh, other material. And the other thing we're gonna do is add our Bokashi juice to it. So the other thing I highly recommend if you're gonna uh, uh, do some composting is one of these. Don't get a little tiny pitchfork. This thing is three, four times faster and it's way easier on my back. It's either like a maneuver fork or a hay fork, either one. I would probably do like hay is, is a little bit stronger um, and I never have issues with stuff falling through the, uh, the tines. So, definitely go for this. It's a good investment. a little bit of the Bokashi juice. So when I started, the top of the pile, um, because I flipped it, I, I lined the, when I built the pile, I built it with uh, just leaves not chopped up or anything like that. So it wasn't very broken down, but you see I'm a little, about maybe halfway in, and I don't know if you can see, but there's much more, much more broken down. And if I squeeze it, there's a couple drops that come out, which is kind of perfect. Um, it smells actually pretty good. I thought it was gonna be a lot stinkier because of how much water I added last time. But um, yeah, I definitely no, don't need to add water. Um, and the piles, it's pretty uh, pretty warm all the way through it, which is, is good. So I'm obviously taking the stuff from the outside I'm putting it on the inside, the stuff that's super hot um, uh, on the inside and getting broken down, I'm putting that on the outside. So you just kind of keep mixing it, keep mixing it. So um, yeah, two weeks in and um, it's it's pr getting pretty broken down, which is, which is nice. Um, probably a few more flips, well, two or three more flips and then um, it'll be ready just to sit um, until spring or probably way before that because I use it way faster than I think. So, um, so yeah, uh, it's going really, really good. So back to the steam bath.
Done. Done, done. So yeah, definitely pile has its girth back. Um, super happy with it. Like it's, it was super hot all the way through. Um, smelt good. Moisture level was good. Um, yeah, really, uh, really uh, stoked about it. If you're wondering why I was being so careful, there's still uh, material in the bottom of this, but this is the material that's about, I guess about two months old now. So I just put it there, covered it with cardboard um, just to make space and then used that to to flip um, the fresh pile in and then now what I'm gonna do is add this one to our fully finished pile at the back there so so yeah so now I'll have a, another free bay to to flip the one I just flipped back into uh, in a couple days so um, so yeah composting it, it's pretty easy really I think the biggest mistake that um, I see people doing and uh, see on like YouTube comments and stuff like that is that they don't get their p piles big enough to start. I think you really can't go wrong if you start with a lot of material, whether you have to scrounge it or just um, hold on to it for a while. Um, and and yeah, big build a pile that's four by four by four um, to start with, and it'll it'll get hot. And um, yeah, I mean, that being said, composting a small pile, it'll just take a lot longer and that's totally fine. Um, some people say that it's better to slow compost, um, but in our, in our circumstance, we needed, we need to compost um, quickly. So, so yeah, um, if you made it this far, awesome, big thanks. Um, I wanna say that we've actually had like a bunch, well, to us, a bunch of new subscribers in the last couple of weeks and a few of our videos for some reason YouTube algorithm is really liked so um, yeah thanks for everyone that uh, viewed it and if you like it I mean I'm no expert my wife is a lot better at gardening than I am um, but we love doing it and all the comments and the likes they're they're great I mean we love answering the uh, the comments and and reading a lot of suggestions like we've got a lot of really good suggestions in the comments that have helped us out a ton so um thank you for everyone that's doing that and um yeah you can even subscribe if you want to man i can't believe i just said that but yeah subscribe we're gonna keep doing this and we're gonna get better and it's gonna be fun doing it so thanks for thanks for watching all right